front of the Brooklyn Museum, not too far from our setting today here at the Barclays Center. Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone, to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. This is the era of positionless basketball in the NBA. Celtics coach Brad Stevens said, I don't have the five positions anymore. It's as simple as three, either a ball handler, a wing, or a big. Thank you, D.A. And the injury report for both teams, players who will not be available tonight. And some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? And now the opening lineup for Boston. Walker and Smart, the guards. Tatum out there with Thompson. And it's Fournier in at the small forward. And for the Nets, they've got Joe Harris. Griffin is out there with Durant. And it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Harden in at the point guard position. D benches tonight, Greg, on both sides. This seems to be a growing trend. You know, teams are digging deeper than ever before, even getting into the two-way contracts that give you depth past your top 15 guys. One, you're trying to protect the investment in your big ticket items, your franchise caliber players, but you got to keep an eye on the future in terms of player development. That's a, another area where the league has really changed when you look at the makeup of these rosters. Well said. Now, here is Irving. Just five on the clock. Yes, that goes in. He's going to get it done all over the floor, outside, inside, mid-range. Irving's their man. Outside, Walker. Passes it to Thompson. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Nice ball movement by Boston. Fournier gets a wide-open look, and it's off from three-point range. Harden kicks to Irving. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Smart. Uh, I gotta love how Irving forces the issue. He makes the D get aggressive with him. He's skilled to get into the line. But that's shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Uh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Tatum on the wing. You're smart. No good from outside. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They double him with Irving. Back to Smart. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by the Nets. Greg, his scores go. Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. Here's Walker after the made shot from KD. Shots good by Walker. Hey, they've broken the seal. Three misses to start, but now they're back in business. Harden up top. Harden by Smart. Takes the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, th their offense has ground to a standstill. But this is the thing about Walker. He will challenge you from the perimeter. He will challenge you inside also. Smart against Harden. Takes a three. Bangs home the trifecta. Harden's got six. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Tatum, that's for two. That one doesn't go. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. It's Harden with the drive. Here's KD. Lays it up off the glass. Durant's got his second bucket. 
this is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by 13. Outside, smart. Back to Tatum. Smart deciding where to go with it. A shot off that time. And here's Brooklyn. They're on a 17-4 run right now. Durant kicks to Griffin. Harden outside. From outside the arc. And the Nets, another three. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. So the Celtics called timeout their first. Well, and last season, we saw teams double and trap James Harden more than any other player in the league. As soon as he crossed half court, they did not want the ball in his hands. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. Brown is checked in for Joe Harris. And Landry Shamit subbed in for James Harden. Neesmith. Pass to Pritchard. Goes up again, and he sinks the layup. There's that passion of his, battling with every ounce of energy he has. Here's Irving. And he comes up with the deuce. He's got nine. Yeah, and all the trapping had to frustrate Harden. But whatever may come, he's going to make the right play. Yeah, and, and he can't do it because he's not just a good passer. He's a great passer. Averaged over double digits assists. The year they played him at point guard, he makes you pay for sending help. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Now here's Williams. Ojale passes to Williams. Shot clock at six. Here's Neesmith. And you know what? Call it great defense or poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. There's Shamit. And the Nets, another three. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Here's Pritchard, covered by Irving. The pass to Pritchard. Brooklyn leading by 19. Irving double team to the wing right side. Here's Shamit. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Ogilvy. Here's Pritchard. From deep. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's Brooklyn with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And Greg, it's one of the great challenges of being one of the teams to beat. But that's the difference with a superstar like Durant. He can give you elite play from start to finish. Lesser guys can do that only in spurts. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Nets enjoying a nice lead here. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace early. Aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. On the floor for Boston. Ojale is out there with Jabari Parker. Then it's Neesmith. Then it's Williams. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. Brooklyn on defense. Here's Pritchard. Just five to shoot. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. 
Now here is Irving. Guarded closer. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Passes to Claxton. Rebound by the Celtics. Neesmith has got his fourth rebound in this one. Celtics trail by 19. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Irving. Drops in the breakaway layup. Irving's got 11. Outstanding instincts on both ends. Irving once again demonstrating how he can dominate possessions like this. Celtics on offense. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now a timeout called by Boston. A lot of great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin. And Kevin, that's a, a great question. And believe it or not, you see both. I've seen guys hmm. who do it to get under your skin, but I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefits. That's how they derive their confidence. And so uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys, they don't say smack. They don't, they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that. No, we don't do that. <laughs> that bucket tells you about the power of Griffin. I mean, he got a man all over him, and it doesn't even affect him. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Celtics have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Stolen by Harden. Durant down low. He's guarded by Fournier. Harden draws the double. And here's Brown outside. Shot clock reset for the Nets. Tries again. And Durant finishes inside. He has six. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Walker against Harden. Count it. How about the quick feet of Walker? They really come into play on his drives to the rack. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Come on, Harden, let's go. Let's go. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Off the mark with the little step back Johnny. Celtics have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step back three, James Harden, is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two move torture chain. Trains the three pointer. And let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And here's Walker outside. Kept alive by Boston. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Pass to Griffin. Now here's Durant. Back to Griffin. And Parker with the block. This is the defense you want to see from Parker. Stepping up with the big time block. And the basket by Tatum. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Now, here is Harden. He's got 12. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. And Brooklyn making a change here. Green's checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Tristan Thompson comes in for Parker. And it's Williams in for Marcus Smart. Good work there as it goes. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Now here's Harden. 15 points in the game. For three, Harris. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Celtics shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. Thompson inside. Griffin's there. There's Walker with the three. Here's Thompson from the left block. He sends it through. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder crashes with power. 
Harden dishes to Harris. And Thompson sends it back. They retain possession. Nets passing it around. Six to shoot. Durant kicks to Harden. Shoots over Walker. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Durant. Harden's got eight points here in this quarter. We all marvel at the offensive game of Harden, don't we? I mean, he's excellent at taking advantage of these in-between spots on the floor. Thompson outside. 30 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And a new group in for the Celtics. Now, we, we've all seen this guy's development. Thompson has proven to be a valuable role player. He's exceptional at tracking down rebounds and a more than capable defender. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. And the Nets, another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Stolen by Harden. Here's Griffin, and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Griffin's got his second basket. Man, he's superb at finding open teammates. Harden, I love how he looks to shed a rock. James Harden getting it done for Brooklyn. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Yeah, he's busting his tail, making his presence known. A great job defensively so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Kyrie Irving. Durant is out there with Harris. Then it's Harden, and it's Griffin in at the center, locking down the middle. Boston shooting a low, low 30% right now on ugly offensive performance. And the foul on Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Thompson finds Fournier. Harden against Walker. Here's Fournier, six on the shot clock. Great D that time from Griffin. Fast break points aside, they've had a tough time offensive. Yeah, trust is what they're, they're missing, guys. You've got to keep moving the ball and shoot with confidence. Ultimately, things will happen well when you play together. And Boston has possession. And Blake Griffin, the combination of power and agility, that guy has a handful inside. Yes, yeah, he can finish with either hand. He favors that right block, and he's got an array of moves down there to keep you guessing. Look, I like how aggressive Thompson is inside. He's easily picking up fouls thanks to his massive size. And you can't help but see the impact Thompson has in the paint. On both ends of the floor, he's a rock planted near the rim. Very strong legs that help him get to so many of those rebounds. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. On the arc, the shot, no good. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I mean, think about it. About 40% of his rebounds are on the offensive end. He just refuses to get moved or boxed out. Combine that with his hunger on that end of the floor, and you see why he's such a great rebound. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Thompson outside, and there's the pass to Walker. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Eight points for Kemba Walker. As hot as he's been, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. And the first timeout called of the game for who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's, it's a I tough just, call. You know, Kawhi's that is. That is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. 
Kyrie's got a ring. I, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss up, partner. I agree. Yep, I'm gonna agree with you. And there's a whistle that goes on Landry Shamit. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fournier for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Irving looking over the floor. Pass to Claxton. Irving against Walker. Passes it to Shamit. KD, that's for two. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Irving double team inside. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Are you kidding me with that pass? Okay, Kyrie, that one made my day. Jaws under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Smart. Got a piece of it. Fournier passes to Smart. To the inside. Parker. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul, and it'll go to the line. For Boston, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight, and that one misses. Now look, and when Parker's healthy, he's an effective player. He's battled a lot of injuries, and he's still fighting and competing. For Brooklyn, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the half. Now the pass to Claxton. Fires the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now. We'll see if that continues the rest of the way. The Celtics have made four free throws from the line and missed two. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. The Nets making a switch here. Green's checked in. Austin also with the sub. Williams is checked in. The kick out to Brown. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. 152 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Irving. From 10 feet out, and it's blocked. And he recovers it. Five on the clock. Here's Neesmith. Back to Williams. The three. Boston. No good that time either. Outside Irving. Fires for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Irving's got 18 points. Oh, great ball movement there. Boston's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Pritchard. Sweet little floater. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Now, here is Irving. Tight defense on him. Here's Claxton, the rim-rattling two-handed jam. I mean, the playmaking skills of Irving, a great passer. I mean, a high IQ player. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Pritchard passes to Williams. The kick out to Williams. Nice ball movement by Boston. The shot by Ojale, no good. Brooklyn's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. A shot's good from Irving. This game would have a different look if it wasn't for his shooting. I mean, 100% from the field for him. Celtic shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, yeah. even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's Pritchard. He feeds it to Thompson. 
And he overshot that one, missing. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Brooklyn Nets. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. Right back after Fourth this quarter break. upon us. Time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for Boston. Ojale is out there with Thompson. Then it's Neesmith. Then there's Edwards. And it's Richard in at the point guard. And any lob to Jordan is about a sure thing as you can get. So athletic for a big with tremendous hands. And big fella knows how to get in prime position for those alley-oop feeds. Jordan against Thompson. Richard. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Irving against Edwards. Irving passes to Jordan. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Never been the biggest scorer, per se. But with Jordan's experience and ability, he can still burn you. Boston shooting a pretty low 34% thus far. Pass to Thompson. Kicks it to Edwards. And Edwards with the stuff. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? And here's Irving. To the left wing. Johnson from outside. It's good from long range. Johnson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Johnson. Pass to Neesmith. Shot clock at five. Pulls up. High post. Here's Thompson. A beautiful reverse layup. This is where Thompson feels comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. Irving passes to Jordan. It's good. Here's Pritchard. Johnson with the block, and he's able to get it back. Pritchard gets the bucket. He's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, he didn't give him much of anything in the first half. Edwards again serving. He feeds it to Jordan, and he gets it to go. And with his struggles at the line, you need to hack down DeAndre. You can't let him get the shot off there. James Harden, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Celtics making a switch here. Free throw good, Jordan. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Up top, Edwards, guarded by Hart. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. A shot by Harden, wide open. Here's Jordan. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive rebounders in the league. Edwards, that's good. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. The three from Harden. Rebound, Boston. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Ojale, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Harden outside. Johnson in the corner. Harden outside. Harden missing again. Leaps for it and out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Brooklyn. 
For Boston, they've gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Here's Edwards out to Parker. Hits it from three-point range. It's obvious Parker knows the importance of hitting from deep. I mean, he must keep taking and making these shots. On the wing, Johnson. Pops it up for Jordan. An emphatic LU jam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That's his first foul. Here is Edwards. The dish to Parker. And the dunk by Parker. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Nets. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Kyrie Irving. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. Edwards passes to Cornette. Knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. One oh five left in the fourth quarter. The Nets have gone eight of eleven from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. They get it back. Pass to Shamit. Here's Luol. Lock at six. Jacks up a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And you know they are sure. I mean, come on. The finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play it smart. The first one falls. one falls so he hits both of them get up, get up, he's free. and so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Nets Bobs it up for Jordan and it's Jordan with the jam and it's just competing you know giving your best when it matters most well this is what guys play for and when it pans out like this it's a great feeling Edwards against Johnson. Good on the bucket. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Now, Shamit. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. The finish. And Edwards with the stuff. Knowing he has to step up his defense. I mean, Parker, in efforts like this, they have to make the coaching staff happy. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we see.